in the dictionary. So I'm thinking, I guess there's a lot of intoxicated people walking around out there. Is there a head? High-minded. Thinking ourselves above somebody else. A lot of that going on too. Right? Hmm. And I looked up incontinent. That said uncontrollable. You see all these lies and stuff going on. People just out there wanting to do their own thing. And then covetousness. Having the desire to have what someone else has. Yeah. I'm going along the lines past we preaching this morning, my right? <laughs> And then, of course, blasphemous, speaking ill of God and his sacred name. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So, I had this favorite group growing up, this Christian band, they were called Striper, and I believe in 87 or 88, somewhere around there, they came out with this album called In God We Trust. And so one of the songs that was in there that inspired me for this message tonight was called, You Gotta Be Strong and Keep the Fire Burning. And the chorus of this song simply says, Gotta be strong, keep the fire burning, gotta move on and keep our hearts from turning. Gotta hold on to what we're learning and never let it go. Hallelujah. And this pretty much, I got a few more scripts there, but this pretty much had it hit me ever since revival, where we were uh, saying, catch the fire, things were going good, uh, all things were exciting, our house was full, but as soon as the fire kind of died down, revival was over, people began to just say, I don't want to come anymore. I thought, man, God, what is going on? Here's Here's all these people, man, the church was packed. And I mean, that was packed even the week, during the weekdays. I said, man, our Wednesday nights weren't even this kind of a pack. This was like a Sunday morning type of a pack. And it was our Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday pack. And so the Lord began to show me this scripture where it said people are beginning to be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Yes, amen. If people these days would begin to kind of see in the spiritual realm about the things they're going, I believe the churches would be packed. Yes. If they could see it. They could see it. But unfortunately, the Lord don't do it that way. <laughs> the Word of God says, seek them while I may be found. Ooh, to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But it grieves my heart. And I was nervous about tonight. I thought, well, there's just about three of us here. Yeah. <laughs> but I thank the Lord Jelly. Jelly over here says, don't be discouraged. Yeah. <laughs> Even if we couldn't remember the last song, we had to sing with no music. To God, that is like a melody to his ears. Amen. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you may think, oh man, I don't know. Without the music, we're going to really know I sound like a screeching kick of my ass. <laughs> all right. The Bible says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's right. yeah. Amen. Praise God. Now, we go to Hebrews. Amen. 10.25. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another as so much more as you see the day approaching. 
<laughs> you know, that, that, that uh, knocks down that belief of saying, well, I can just stay home and be a Christian. <laughs> How long are you going to be a Christian just staying home? I don't know about you, but I need the fellowship. Amen. I need Mama Rose. Amen. I need to see Mama Rose smile. I need Mama Rose hug once in a while. All right? You feel me? It's time that we, we begin to assemble ourselves one with another. Yeah. And, and right there, as, as it says, exhorter, exhorting one another. And again, that's my scripture. Of course, that's what I am now. I'm in. I'm licensed to exhort. Yes, amen. As a Pentecost Church of God preacher, I'm an exhorter minister. So I looked up exhorter and it said to strongly encourage yes. or urge someone to do something. So tonight I'm here to urge you. I'm here to get you excited to stay in there. Keep the fire burning in you. Don't 
shout me down yet. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Wherefore, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by putting on of my hands. I'll go ahead and read 17. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and a sound mind. How are we going to keep the fire burning, church? By stirring up the gift within us. Yes. And don't be afraid because God has not given us that spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Yes. I don't know if any of you have been noticing, well, pretty much in the revival, when the Lord told me to dance, I thought, what? <laughs> and it was just weird because the feeling... So, sometimes they, they, they say, I won't dance for the Lord because I'm in the flesh. Well, we're always going to be in the flesh, but sometimes it takes a little step of faith. Yeah. We begin yeah. to maybe do the little hip movement, right? <laughs> and then before we know we're getting into the music, and then by the time we know it, then the Lord, he has full control because we're lost in ourselves. Yeah. And then the Holy Ghost will begin to move us. I was looking like, He's a, he's a ventriloquist over me, you know, the puppeteer. And he moves me this way and that way and this way. Thank you, Jesus. Or like one day they were singing when the saints go marching in. And I, I don't know, I'm thinking, man, the Lord wanted me to march. I'm thinking, I don't know, that's just self. But then I got to thinking, well, Lord, if I'm going to march, the guy's got to sing it again. <laughs> and the way, sometimes the way pastor plays, it almost comes. You're thinking it's coming to a dead stop. But all of a sudden he does that little roll. Go over <laughs> the saints. Go marching in. And I thought, oh man. So the Lord began to tell me to march. And as I marched, I ended up marching two times around in the church. About that time, I believe Sister Michelle was following. Sister Rosalind, and they all began to follow. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Holy Ghost fell. And it only takes one person to be obedient to trigger something to happen. Amen. It's kind of like you take the piece of paper and it yes. says, take that one piece of paper you light that on fire and hit that on the ground. Before things happen, everything goes to yeah. fire. It takes that one person. And we never know who is going to be the key to that service tonight or that morning. But that day, it ended up being me. <laughs> The Lord said, go and march. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 And then we see the things happen. Amen. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So I'm talking about keeping our, our fire burning. We need to get involved. We need to treat every service as if it's an outreach. Woo. Yes. We never know yeah. who's going to come walking through the door. A couple of folks came in today, and when I greeted them, they said, you're the comedian. <laughs> How'd you know that? <laughs> well, one of them, when she said, oh, well, I saw you at another church. And that's another thing. We ought to watch our lifestyle. Amen. Get in our word. Get in our prayers. And I know this works for me tonight, because... I was sharing with the sister, it's hard for me to read the word, but I get my earbuds and I got the Bible app, yeah. so the words are coming in, and that helps me. Yeah. Amen. Like Pastor said, if we could just begin to pray 30 minutes a day, and then, man, before we know it, we're going to be growing in strength, and we're yeah. feeding ourselves and praying and, and all this and that. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Gotta be strong and keep the fire burning. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't care how we feel, let's get to church. I know we got sometimes we can't be there, but man. I believe that's the time my brother Jess told me this morning, he goes, Oh, you're preaching, I'm not coming. <laughs> I gotta put Jess on the spot. But no, he he was joking with me, and I understand that. But he began to tell me, uh, he's afraid that he's going to miss out 
on something. Yeah. We used to think when it was you know, so and so is going to bring God to go to church. But the Lord would get to deal with me. It doesn't matter what that person is or what you think of it. It's I'm doing the work through them. Yes, that's right. And I thought, man, I'm telling the Lord I want to go to church. <laughs> Just, and that's the way it is. We, we, we should come to church with an expectancy of something good. Is about to happen. Lord, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm get to church. You can't use me tonight. Hallelujah.
keep your family. The Lord showing your wife miracles that he will do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ever think of. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If all hearts and minds are clear, just said. Father, I just give you praise. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your people, Lord. I thank you for a people that love you tonight. I thank you for a people that are hungry and thirsting after righteousness. I thank you for this body of believers that will back the church up, that will back our pastor up, God. I pray for my pastors, God, that you'll just keep them safe and sound tonight, God. Find favor with our pastors. Help us to help them catch the vision tonight. And Father, we're going to give you the praise. And everybody say, 